All right, so after 17 hours of grandma complaining, well, now we will make tea. Riveting. I thought this game was going to be about being gay, not about complaining about gay people. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that her story is necessarily bad, but it just felt so drawn out, you know? No, I appreciated it for what it was. But as we said before, it feels like a game that's more about explaining gayness than being about gayness. Yeah. If that makes explaining sense. Explaining gayness to people who might not have an understanding of the bullshit that people put up with. And the, one of the most frustrating things about when someone does something hurtful to you is when they'll say, I do it because I love you. Whatever. That it? I... It's so angering. I get... It's so infuriating because it's so frustrating because they're not sorry. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how it feels. It feels like they're not sorry. No, that's their way of saying, like, I'm sorry that you feel differently, but I'm right. And it also is like, why are you telling me that that is what love is? Mm -hmm. If somebody is doing something really fucked up to you and saying... Or they did something really fucked up to you and they say, I did it because I love you. I want you to know that's not what love is. And if someone else did that, if you have a spouse, like if you are having, if you're dating someone and you grew up with that idea that somebody does something that's for the best for you, that's not it. Like, don't let that be your example of what love is. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's not what love is. That's just them having a fucked up view on how to have relationships with other people it's yeah. not you it's so annoying i hate it i mean there are times when people have used that phrase when it's not in a bad context but i i would say that if someone is doing something that's fucked up and saying that it's because they love you then it's bad you know I feel like there's a few, there's like a little little bit of added quote unquote gameplay to this that's not necessary. She kept on telling me what a real man should be like. That's not me. That's the first time we've seen him. But move. I think I'm okay. No, sir. I'm the man I grew up no. to be. And now I'm thinking about marrying Harry. I want to marry Harry. <gasps> Do you remember the, that show? The best reality show that ever existed. Oh yes. my god, you oh, guys. Oh my god. Okay, little, let this be a mark about how bored... Like, usually we're totally in on the gay ships, but right now we're like... Whatever. We got it, whatever. Anyway, have you heard about this reality TV show about... They got this really... They got these girls... Those American... American girls, girls who didn't know, like, exactly what Prince Harry looked like. They got a Prince Harry lookalike and made them all, like, think that they were actually... Like, they made them all think that they were on, like, a reality show competing to marry him. So they all think that they're going to, like, marry him and be a princess. It was so... If, like, at some points I felt bad, and other points I was like, but all these women literally want to marry him because he's a prince, so it's like... Yeah, so it's like, you can't really feel too bad. And then, like, there was this... They're, like, the one black girl there, she, like, caught on right away, and she was just looking at everyone like they were crazy. Yeah, and she's <laughs> like, I don't think that's it. And then they, like, voted her off the show. Exactly. <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> because she was just basically looking around being like, oh, my God. I don't Everyone's think that guy's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> she was the only like one, him. like, in touch with reality. Oh, my God. And she was like, everyone was being, like, super crazy and just sitting there. She's just sitting there. And then everyone's like, why are you being such a bitch? And she's just sitting there being like, Oh my god. It's so good, you guys. It's <laughs> If you like trashy reality TV, and I don't usually like reality television, but this was just, like, so fucking over the top. It was hard it to... It was incredible. Yeah. It was the most incredible thing, because some of them didn't believe, and, some, and they were just kind of pretending to believe, because mm -hmm. they wanted to be on the show. Yeah. But, like, some of them really, really were believed. Just, 
so into it. Because they didn't tell him that he was Prince Harry. They were just hinting at it and letting them try to figure it out. Yes. They were, like, just dropping a lot of hints. Like, they had him... Like, remember, he got, like... Did he get, like, whisked away in a helicopter, or there was, like... Well, they were staying at some sort of really fancy place, and they are like, here he comes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, they were being kind of coy about it. And so so that, they would just, like, figure it out. They were, like, leaving around photoshopped pictures around the place. Oh, my God. It was so oh weird. Oh, my God. It was so incredible and weird. I, and they are like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was so... It's like the type of thing where you wish there could be more than one season, but there can't be because, like, how many times can you pull that trick, you know? Uh. I felt bad, but then I was like, no, these are all, like, very shallow people, so it's okay. Yeah. And then all the people who weren't shallow and got voted off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was great. Now we're going to slowly make our way around the couch to watch him eat cereal. But is this me? Us? Now and forever? I love Harry, but he's... He just wants to be here, in these routines. Are we two different people? What are you talking... Oh, whatever. Oh, wait, so he doesn't want him to be in routines? He doesn't want to be in a routine. I think he. I think what he's saying is he wants to take the next step in the relationship, and he's worried. Oh no! Does Harry um, just want to stay the way things are? Yeah, it's just like you know, just like any mm. thing where it's. He just. He's worried that Harry will say no. That's what I think. I can't get over the "I want to marry Harry" now. That was just too perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I definitely think that he probably is just worried that Harry's going to be like, no, I just like things the way they are, and I'm mm. not going to say yes. That's what he's just worried about. Mm -hmm. They were really He nice kept a place for me here while I explored the world. That's good, right? That's love, isn't it? Wait. They were dating, and he left him to go travel the world. Well, they were young, though. This was, like, right after college, so it was probably just, like... Yeah. And he, But he said he kept... Well, he kept a place for me. I wonder if that means just, like, kept a place in his heart. Not yeah, literally, like, kept they, up his house. Yeah, maybe it was like, oh, we took a break and then we got to back together. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Kind of thing. Where it's like, oh, I needed to find myself and I still love you. Mm-hmm. I guess I better get a move on. I love how Harry, uh, how Harry was still hot even in Grandma Vision. Couldn't Can't. deny it. Oh, yeah. Because it was from her point of view, so it wasn't like he was kissing the devil or something. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like, and even I had to admit, he was banging. He didn't have, like, <laughs> horns and a tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, Grammy, even Grandma had to admit that Harry was pretty fine. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason she's mad. God damn it. Way harder than Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we're going to see a penis. <gasps> we have no reflection. We're a ghost. Ah! So re the way this game plays, it really makes me feel like I'm sort of like some sort of like weird Grandpa ghost. Like what if we're playing as Grandpa? Oh my God. And Grandpa's like, Shirley, I don't give leave shit. him alone. I know. Just let him be happy. Love is a strange thing. Totally personal, but shared by everyone too. Kendall. I remember I loved Sarah when I was with her at uni. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. I'm going through the motions, but not going anywhere. Marriage won't solve that. I need to fix myself. Not suck Harry into this. Oh, okay. You know, a lot of the writing in this feels very, um, rote. What does that mean? Feels very... Contrived? Con like, average. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the things that he's saying... It was the first day at university. Oh, is this Sarah? I was terrified. My parents drove me up to the student village. The back of the car was stuffed with everything that I owned. Oh my god. Is this whole game going to be about how his gayness has affected other people? 
Oh, fantastic. Fuck this. Ugh. Yeah. You, but I, what I was saying is that, like, all the things, that, all, like, the musings that he has to himself, it feels very, like, I don't know, that you read it somewhere. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah, it no, I get it. It, it. it doesn't feel, yeah. I just realized, yeah, you know, I just realized that this whole game's gonna be about how his gayness has affected other people in his life who are not gay. Ew. And she's gonna, if this storyline is, I loved Will. What's his name? Will. Oh yeah, like I. Loved I loved him. Will, and he fought, and I found out that he's more into guys, and this is how it affected me. I'm gonna be like. And this is how like it hurt my feelings. Blah blah blah. Ugh. Yeah. I've no idea how well I did at pretending to look confident. If anyone else noticed, they didn't say. They were probably doing it too. Paul is my mum's boyfriend. He liked Will. My biological dad probably wouldn't have. It seemed like I had an enormous amount of stuff. Well, she's wearing camo pants, so it's clear that she was gay too. <laughs> <laughs> she's wearing camo pants and Doc Martens, it looks like. I... I think it's pretty clear what's going on. So maybe it'll just be about how they... <gasps> oh! Maybe they're... Yeah, like, they were both gay and just and like... And they're just like, you know, like, we're going to be best friends and then we're going to take... I think Mum or Paul must have picked up the keys from somewhere. Weird that I don't remember how we got them now. Take them, like, you know... I went up first. Yeah. Uh, you go to you go to my parents' house for Thanksgiving, I'll go to your parents' house. They're both going to think her and I had a real relationship. I and... really fucking hope that's it. Because if this is about how she dated a guy who found who realized he was gay and that, like, hurt her feelings, I'm going to be like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> that can be someone... <laughs> Whatever. Or, you know, maybe they're just close friends. I hope. Oh, God. Walking into my dorm room for the first time, I could only think about my own nerves. It's one of those things that we do sometimes. We forget about the feelings of others. Yes, I was scared about it all, but how did Mum and Paul feel? After unloading the car, they were about to drive away to an empty home for the first time in 18 years. That's... Maybe it was a scarier day for them than for me. What? Is this game about getting gay people to understand consider how... Consider other people's feelings? Consider other people's feelings about how their gayness affected them or some fucking shit like that? You don't need to worry about what other people think. Okay? Whatever. You know? Mm-hmm. Where it's like... Well, you know, they might have said these hurtful things, but, but this is how they... But maybe you should consider their feelings. <laughs> like, yeah. Is this yeah. for real? Okay. Fuck. I swear to God, if this is it. <laughs> well, I think it's, you know, like we were saying before, I think it's one thing to understand, like, the context of how somebody else feels, but... It... This is not the time and place especially in our society right now to be having that story. No, I mean more like it's okay it's okay to like understand where someone is coming from while still believing that like they're an asshole. Yeah, that they're an asshole. Like I understand why you feel that way, but you're still being an asshole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look look how shitty her layers are. Uh. <laughs> Ew, gross. I know, right? Oh my god. It's bad. Girl. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look, she's got at? hair that's like above her chin. And it... It looks like... Oh god. Uh, she has short hair and she got ex really bad extensions. <gasps> yeah, do you remember that... Who was that... Shit, there was like a reality TV mom who had like hair that was like only a little bit longer than mine and then got extensions, like, down here. I only remember because I saw it on, like, a magazine cover, and they were just like, look at how great she looks now! And I was like, oh, dear God. So. <laughs> Are you Welcome to the, to, yes. the, to the Keep Remix, bitch. 
loved Let's Play. Oh, my God. <laughs> but um, remember the movie She's All That, where she had those terrible hair extensions at the beginning of the movie, and then they did a makeover, took her glasses off, and she was suddenly mm. hot as shit? Mm -hmm. I was unloading in a dream. I had a room that was all my own. It seemed unreal. Cheap carpet and a thin mattress. It didn't matter. It was my space. You know, I think that that does say something about, like, the storytelling in this, though, that we're coming up with just completely random shit to talk about. I know that we do that all the time, but, you know. I'm so worried this is going to be... The story of how, how your gayness yes. affects your the people that you love in and then negative gay, ways. In negative ways, and then the gay person died. Like, isn't that... I'm sure whoever wrote this is gay. I don't know anything about whoever made this game. I don't want to make conjectures. You remember it. how that felt. Having control for the first time. I felt terrified, but excited too. Though mostly just lost. Um, you know what I just realized? There's probably going to be people out here who really love this game and they're going to be yelling at us now. I didn't realize everyone felt the same. I'm kind of mad now because I'm really worried that this is going to be the story about how him being gay hurt her feelings. And I'm going to be like, fuck. Having a room and being 18? Yes, of course I was thinking about dating. I guess everyone was. Dating? Having my own room and thinking about dating. No, girl. You think we all probably felt like we weren't. About fucking. Yep. I don't know. There's that thing at 18 when you are acting more than being. We all feel like everyone else has the secret of confidence. So are you gay I or felt not? average, but I wasn't. None of us are, really. But then that would mean uh. we're all average. What? What are you talking about, lady? What? Uh. <laughs> None of us are average, but then wouldn't that make us all average? Because that's everyone? I don't know. We're all unique. Wait, do we seriously have to walk up and down the stairs with all these... Oh, my God. You know... Wait, no. Cute is the right word. I wasn't really thinking about sexy back then. I felt so adult, but I had so much growing up to do. You know... You know, I don't think everyone you, is unique, but I do think everyone is special, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I think... You don't need to be unique to be special. Yeah. What are you going to say? Well, I just think that everybody has their own, like, strengths and weaknesses. Like, we all, we all have things in common with each other, but we're still different from each other because everybody has, like, different combinations of those things mm -hmm. and different backgrounds, which give us, us different views on life. Your layers are so bad. Who did this Look to you? Look at the front of her hair. She has fringe that's like up here. Who modeled goes... your character model, man? I'm so sorry. What is she looking at? A car. Uh... It's funny to think back like this now. Oh my god. They're all remembering how this gay dead guy affected him with his gayness. <sighs> Maybe it's supposed to be more like, instead of how his gayness affected them, but more like... How his, he affected how them? How he affected them. But it all the revolves is, around him being gay, though. And the gayness though. is, like, part of him. Will must have been in the lectures over the first few weeks, but I didn't notice him, if I'm honest. I was so busy with everything and just learning how to live. Do laundry, cook every day, that kind of thing. I next remember seeing Will through the window of the Union Bar. That's creepy. Where's the... The Union Bar. What? Oh. Oh. That's... <laughs> creepy! <laughs> oh, peeping through the window! I recognized him then from the first day. And I remembered liking how he'd look back at me then. Okay. Oh, there we go. Girl, uh, I got some news for you. <laughs> well, isn't this so, how? Let's see. 
they were growing up in the 80s, so they're going to college in the late 90s, early 2000s. Is that... I, right? I, I'm believing you, but I just don't remember what the marker was. They had originally said that he... I can't... Yeah, they said that his dad, like, was raising him in the 80s because of all the punk. Oh, yeah, the punk rock scene in the UK. Punk rock scene in the UK, and so... But they, I still have some news for her. They would have been going to college in the early 2000s, which... Britpop was still doing pretty well. Good music, blur, pulp, that kind of thing, and Oasis weren't just repeating themselves then. Not that the union was playing much of those. What were we saying? I'm wondering what, I don't know what the fashion seize was in the UK at the time. It was a typical Friday, crowded with the windows dripping with condensation, cheap spill drinks making the floor sticky. We're gonna party? We're gonna party? Like it's 1999. After I'd seen him at the window, I wanted to talk to him. Maybe more. I pretty much went on the hunt. Oh Finding Will wasn't easy. I definitely wasn't the tallest person there, and the lights didn't help. I think she's being kind of scary. <laughs> I'm gonna I be had honest. to find him. <laughs> Honestly, she sounds kind of creepy. It had only been a few weeks, but I felt like a new woman already. Or I was on my way, at least. Maybe she, like, pushes him into a relationship or something, and he's like, I may as well try. Yeah. Will always gave me a good vibe. I know that sounds weird, Oh but my god. there it is. It is weird. He just felt like a good person. He was, too. Yeah. Oh, the alcohol. Oh my god, you can't look away. I don't think that's even a good style for them. The hair or the clothes? I don't know, I feel like the he... The clothes look very late 90s to me. Remember when the grunge was in? But well, I mean, like, even not for that... grunge, that doesn't look good. Grunge didn't look good. I felt like grunge had an Remember, overall like, okay, sense Okay, so in the late things. 90s, there were a lot of floral prints, like what's on her skirt. Like shitty coral prints. There's also a lot of like tights and skirts. Mm, I guess you're right. It was bad. Will party. was talking to another guy when I found him. I don't remember what I said to join in the conversation. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> She's like, hey guys! <laughs> what are you all talking about? And they're like, oh my god. Look at him looking at her. He's like, bitch. Get out of here. I think I was pretty obvious in my intentions. Oh, oh. God. It was hard to talk over the music. I'm clutching my butt. We had a couple of drinks, and then I remember pulling him outside. <sighs> yeah. Oh, boy. I can imagine what happened. Grandma doesn't approve. This girl's throwing herself at me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... Like, try. try. It sucks because that's probably the first time she ever asserted herself. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself a man. And then and she projected so much on him before she even talked to him. Yeah, it's weird. You know the feeling, the rush of anticipation. I was getting that so much. It sounds like kind of creepy. I went and grabbed him and pulled him outside. And look, he's just kind of like, okay. She like went up to him, grabbed his hand and pulled him away. No, she talked to him and had a couple drinks. Mm. <laughs> huh, okay. And he, she was, he was talking to some guy, whatever. The so cold night was... air hit me and I felt a little dizzy. I don't know. This doesn't this doesn't seem like very out of the norm to me yet. I don't think it's out of the norm. I'm just like I don't want to go on this journey with her. Yeah. That's what I want. I don't I don't want to be I don't want to go along this ride. <laughs> And 
And I'm sure that they're like having a conversation, hopefully. I don't know. And that was when he first kissed me. That being said, if somebody does approach you in a bar and tries to just, like, drag you away, scream. feel free to say no. Feel free to scream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Movie theater. We went to the cinema for our first proper date. And you wore the same the outfit. same clothes. Heck, Heck yeah. yeah. We took seats in the back row, living up to that cliche. Oh. We didn't make our lives easier. There's that date night expectation if you sit at the back. What? So you guys can touch each other's genitals. Oh, God. Secretly or whatever. We both fidgeted, trying to work out how to start. I kept on trying to look at him from the side to see if he was looking at me. I shifted in my seat a bit, letting my leg touch his. <laughs> I was so smooth. When I went to hold his hand, he moved his away. But I think that was by accident. Mm. Not wow. so sure about that. This is very difficult for me to watch. What do I need to click now? Oh, the lights we ignored there. the film, pretty much. It was that silly action one with that guy who always acts crazy. Um, thing of me. It was like everything else faded out. I put my hand on his leg. He turned to me and did that shy smile of his. This is this feels so like voyeuristically uh, creepy for some reason. Probably because he's like we know that he's not into it, you know? Yeah. He put his hand on the side of my face, just gently on the skin, turning me to face him. Oh no. Okay, so you know how, like, the grandma had her point of view of what happened? Mm hmm And then now she's having her own point of view of what happened? Yeah. So it's like something else was probably happening? He closed his eyes and kissed me, placing his lips softly onto mine. And then we ignored each other for the rest of the movie. And then we turned into robots. We sat with our fingers locked together for the rest of the film. And when it was over, we walked out, still holding hands. Did you ever fall in love so hard and so much you just knew it would have to end? It was my first time, but even back then, I think I knew deep down that's what it was. Um... Will always gave the impression of confidence, like he always had a grand plan. I wish I knew if he saw that end coming too like I felt it was. I don't know if that would have made how it went any easier. I'd been putting off unpacking all of my boxes, but the next day I finally got round to it. I got out the essentials, of course, but I hadn't felt very motivated to do the rest. Oh, so I wanted to point something out really quick. So when we pick apart, like, stories and are very critical of them, one of the reasons for that, I think, is because we... I read a lot of books, we've seen a lot of movies, and we've played a lot of games. So it gets, like... Really, tiring. It gets really easy to pick apart tropes and to like see the same things over and over. And see the same tropes similar are not always bad, but some are, and some are good, some are bad. Tropes are needed in order to tell a story because the human brain works a certain way, but other tropes 
are not always needed. It's like fairy tales. Mm -hmm. How fairy tales reflect the values of a society. That's the same thing with tropes. Tropes reflect the values of a society. So when tropes are overused or outdated from a time past, that means they don't need to be used anymore. Mm -hmm. Like the whole idea that this guy's probably gonna die, and we didn't need that. Yeah. But I also just like kind of wanted to explain why we get so quick to like judge stories for having like, you know, average characters or like really blase like, writing and stuff like that because it's like we've seen that so many times but already. We're let's players. That's literally our job is to complain and commentate though. So. Well, yeah, I, I know, but I feel like sometimes people will, like, really, really like a game and they don't understand why we don't like it. Yeah. But, and I know that, like, part of our, like, thing is that we commentate, but it, the reason why we feel that way about some things is because we've seen so much that it really puts into perspective, like, what average is. Yeah. And what good, you know? Yeah. Stacy and I have been like, why haven't we played anything that's changed our souls this year? Yeah. So we're like... No. <laughs> We've turned into one of the, those people. Those people who don't like anything, unless it's exceptional. I'd packed loads of my old books. Nothing really related to uni, I just liked having them nearby. When I was born, someone from my mum's work gave me a toy bunny. I know it's silly, but it makes me happy. I've still got that bunny on a shelf in my room. It's like looking straight into the past and some good times. Even the smell makes me happy. Yeah, you're right. This does feel a little bit like... Right? I put yeah. candles out. I think I thought I'd need to do romantic lighting. I had arranged to see Will later in the week. I was really falling for him. Is it weird to tell you this? Who are you talking to? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and that did just occur to me. Is it weird to tell you this? Is like some fourth wall shit where she like turns around and looks at the camera. What's going on? Though. <laughs> I don't know. Are they telling... That's the first time where I thought like, are they telling a story to a person? Maybe they're talking, they're like all Talking about Will to somebody? To somebody who's going to turn it into a book or something? What's going on? I don't know. My mum gave me a tasseled cloth scarf to remind me of home. She's a right hippie. Perfect. I kept on changing my mind. I'm done. Wow. Oh, so we I have to change our mind now. Okay. It shouldn't have mattered so much, but I wanted the place to look nice. And there's no, there's nothing that I'm really going like, oh, I feel it, you know? I must have spent ages just shifting stuff around. Oh my god. The little choices are important. I guess it didn't make any difference, really. But I was happy when I was sure I'd got it right. I wanted to feel comfortable when Will came over. Oh my god. Will and I, it, uh, it felt like a Romeo and Juliet kind of thing. And just as likely to burn us both as to make us happy. You're crazy. I'm just gonna say, you're crazy. Well, okay, you're not crazy, you're a, you're a teenage girl. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit there and call someone crazy. Like if they don't pick up, like if somebody. I. This is not one of. This is not the. I, I'm not mad that she's not picking up that he's gay. It's that I'm seeing that she is projecting onto him somebody that he isn't, mm. and that's bothering me. And I know that's completely normal for every single teenager who's ever existed. <sighs> it's just. I it feel just like... is annoying me because she's projecting. I guess that's happened to me before where people project something onto me that I'm not. Like, when, people that I've dated who are like, oh, this is who you are, like, that I've made up about you. And then mm -hmm. when I don't meet that expectation, they're like, I thought you were like this. And I'm like, I never even gave you that impression, you know? Yeah, I guess um, 
it's hard for me to it's hard for me to think about how much she might be projecting when because like we th we assume that she is projecting a lot because mm -hmm. we know that in his, Will's heart he's not interested in this but he also she said things about like him putting out signals like kissing her and holding her hand and stuff like that mm -hmm. which makes me think like well how much of it was she projecting and how much of it was like him being pretending yeah, pretending and or like feeling confused and they're both confused together you know but what a lovely way to burn I feel like uh... besides being a teenager in love is like the worst thing ever I never want to do it again I feel like she is seeing the romance as something that she's seen like in a book or on TV she's like oh what a lovely way to burn so passionately mm. And that's just annoying. Don't me. you remember saying that stuff Christmas? Like that? I yes, met Will it Stanley. is annoying me. Yeah, we've been together for four months. Do you remember me there? What? Who's she talking to? Do you remember me there? <gasps> maybe he's in a coma. Oh, maybe she's. Yeah, maybe she's talking no, to him. No, because she doesn't say. Did she say with you? She says with Will. So she's not talking to Will. You know. She maybe refers... she's talking to the parents, like talking to his mother, and they're all talking about how they remember him. Maybe. Oh, we're not going to have to play through his family, too, are we? I don't know, man. Uh, can he just be in a coma and they're all talking to him? And then, like, he wakes up and he's like, wow, you guys are awful. Y'all are dicks! Gives them the <laughs> finger and, like, walks off. That would be a great ending where he wakes up and he's like, I heard everything. You're all the worst. You know, like, you know how they tell people, like, you should talk to people who are in coma so it helps them, uh, recuperate mm -hmm. faster? Yeah. He wakes up and he's like, that was the worst recuperation ever. I woke up just to sh tell you to shut the fuck up. I hate you guys. Where's my husband? Mm -hmm. We're getting married. Oh, uh, we had Oh, I forgot to ask. Let's get married? Okay. Yeah. Fuck off. I have a nice apartment. Like I was head over heels in love with him. I didn't say much in case I blurted out something wrong to his family. We were still at that stage where you constantly want to touch the other person. I love that. But I didn't reach out with his family all there. Well, I hope you found somebody who's like that with you now. I remember he lightly touched the back of my neck as he poured me some wine and it sent tingles into my stomach. It was a really nice meal and we all got on okay. I think it's a little interesting how we never get to see how he feels. And it's like yeah. not, it's not obvious to everyone how he's going to be feeling about this. Mm -hmm. Probably having a panic attack right now. Yeah. I think I looked a bit too grungy for the occasion. I felt really self-conscious. I loved him so much. But that feeling I had wouldn't go away. That it was all going to end. That Christmas day, though, I felt like we had a chance. See, she looked grungy. Told you it was grunge. Yeah, I can't get over her hair. I can't. Yeah. Maybe that's why I don't like her. <laughs> I'm like, who? Why did you let that happen? Oh my god, we're, we're like on a roll today. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Things were going well, but over the months, I felt the relationship thought. changing. Yeah. That was an interesting th way to use the game. I just. I feel like I want to care, but I can't. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We would listen to music as we fell asleep. Will had a CD recording of a thunderstorm. The sound of the rain was relaxing, but there were a couple of bits of thunder that would make me jump. Oh my god, I had the, I have that. Thunderstorms? Yeah. I used to listen to that on my phone. I had a little app. Mm-hmm. Or look up a YouTube video. What are we doing? Papers. We listened to a lot of Porter's Head. Even now when I listen to them, I remember being back in that room, in his arms. We would cuddle up in bed and watch TV or movies. The glass over to the left. Coronation Street had a transgender character. It wasn't something I'd thought much about before. 
Being straight, I'd never thought much about my sexuality. I never felt that I needed to. I was me. Will was just himself too. And I just kind of accepted that. Well, that was an interesting line. Mm -hmm. It's funny to tell you this now, but I was never jealous of Harry. You'd think I would be, but I loved Will so much. I just wanted him to be happy. I'm wondering what that we both means. both just quirked our heads to the side. We're both like, huh, okay. I'm interested to see how that plays out. I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking it's college. Maybe they were polyamorous or something. No, um, I think that she just means, like, I love you and I just want you to be happy even though it's not with me. Ah. Uh, your I went your first thought is always polyamory. Hey, man. Some people are just gay. Okay. <laughs> I could feel the end of it all shaping up. But we had good times anyway. Though sometimes lonely, in a weird way. It felt like we were the only people in the world. Maybe I didn't mind Will getting closer to Harry because it felt like our own love was too much for two people. Hmm. Okay. Will and me were studying English. Harry was on the course too. There was a spark between Will and Harry. That much was obvious. I know some people would feel jealous, but I don't know. Being around Harry made Will happy. I, okay. I'm really interested to see how this plays out. This is, this is... Okay. Just wait for it. I'll never forget that time. Seeing their friendship grow. Their friendship. The longer we dated, the more we stayed in. We would go out to meet up with Harry and a couple of other friends, but it was mostly just Will and me. Those memories will always be a warm place for me. It might seem odd to you, but it was my suggestion. What was... I told Will to ask out Harry. I loved him. I knew it would make us all happy for Will to have Harry in his life. It was something he needed to do. I feel lucky. How many times in your life will you be sure you've helped a person find their true love? Though, it was rough. For a long time, I wished that true love had been me. Did she handle that very well? Exceedingly well. Exceeding, almost unrealistically well. I will say that, honestly, that's unrealistically well. But I guess after grandma, they were like, you know what, let's have something nice happen. Yeah. 